Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's conversation is titled, Is Jealousy Becoming a Deal Breaker in Your Relationship? When things shift in our relationship over the years, we tend to become jealous because our connection seems broken. We're not on the same page as we were in the early stages. So all of a sudden now we're looking at things differently. We're trying to figure out why our partner doesn't feel as connected and why maybe we don't feel as connected. And when this transpires, it causes so many insecurities because you're not understanding what shift has occurred here. Why is this happening? A lot of people don't sit down and have conversations when they are in this phase within the relationship. We all have jealous tendencies. There's always times that we deal with a little bit of jealousy throughout our partnerships. And that's actually natural, that's okay. But if you can sit down and talk to your partner about it, if it's becoming a problem and you are feeling more and more insecure, then you can combat this situation and not let it escalate to the level of where it becomes a deal breaker. Quite often what happens as relationships progress is sometimes we just get a little bit complacent. We're not listening to our partners as much or we're not feeling heard from our partner. And when this happens, this kind of breaks that bond apart a little bit and it makes you feel like there's a, a change coming that's just not a healthy place to be and it's starting to take over and you're starting to feel everything that's going on in your relationship there's an issue with it this is why communication is so important because whenever you feel unsettled about anything in your relationship you need to address it sometimes our partners don't realize they're in a different phase they're in a different place maybe they're dealing with something at work maybe there's some stuff going on within them hormonally as the years go by there's all sorts of stuff that happens because we evolve all the time and if you don't evolve at the same pace as your partner this is where problems can come in and make you feel jealous make you feel in question as to what is actually happening in your relationship Another thing to understand about where you may be feeling jealous with somebody is maybe your confidence isn't there right now. Maybe there's something that's going on in your life that you just don't feel good about yourself. And that's another thing that you can talk to your partner about. Because the more confident you are, the more purpose you have in your life, the more you feel whole. You don't feel jealous because you're happy with yourself. And that's the one thing I do find with a lot of people when they are going through these jealous tendencies or they have them all the time in every relationship, it's because there's something missing in their own life. And they're jealous of people they're with because they feel they have more than them, they're on a better path. So if this is the case, I always suggest that you get counseling because you don't wanna keep taking negative things into new relationships. So please be aware of that if this is a constant situation in your life. Don't let things fester. Don't let them go on so that they eventually become a deal breaker. This is something that a lot of people don't pay a close enough attention to. They just say, oh, well, I'm in a relationship. It's going okay. You know, everything's fine. It's never always okay. There's always stuff you're going to be dealing with outside your relationship and internally. So talk about it. Really, I stress this, talk about pretty much everything. Because if you do that, you're in a partnership with them. You're sharing things with them and they're feeling a part of your life as well. Quite often when the intimacy changes as the years go by, that can also leave a person feeling a little bit insecure. Why are they not interested in, in me as much? Why is the intimacy not as powerful as it once was? Why is there no romance or very little romance happening? That can really bring out jealousy because a lot of people start thinking, okay, are, is, are they interested in somebody else? Are they just lost attraction to me? How do I rectify this and how do I bring this back? This is a huge, important conversation to have with your partner because if you let the intimacy, the romance, all that stuff go in your relationship, you're basically living in a companionship with somebody, which is okay. Some people really like that. But 
if you want to have a full romantic connection with your partner, you have to tell them what's going on that has changed. Why are these things happening? Are you both not putting enough energy into this? Does it feel one-sided? The minute that a relationship starts to feel one-sided, it makes the other partner feel left out, feel alone, feel like they're left behind and you're moving on to something else in your life. So please try to always keep a reciprocated communication going so that your partner is never feeling that. If you have a problem with them, tell them. Don't expect it to fix itself or for you just to be able to, oh, I'll get over it. It's not gonna happen. If there's a lot of jealousy taking place in your relationship, the bond has been broken. You need to repair it. And that's okay, we all go through stages. So how do you do this? How do you keep that flowing? Regular compliments to your partner is great. Acknowledging their achievements, supporting them if they've got a project coming up or they're on a team of some kind and you go and be there in the audience for them. You just be a part of each other's life. It doesn't mean you have to do everything together, but you're aware of what's going on and you support their goals and everything that's going on and vice versa. It has to be reciprocated for it to be in a good place. You also have to remember to prioritize each other. Romance does not go on the back burner. It doesn't mean you have to be in the bedroom five days a week. It just means that you're there intimately with each other. Even if you're sitting on the couch watching a movie and you're lying together with each other or you're holding hands or whatever the scenario is, but something that keeps you connected. Because this is when the jealousy comes in, when you don't feel that your partner is there anymore. If you're unsure about your jealousy, what's going on and why is this happening, keep a journal. Write things down as to what triggers this jealousy. What goes on here? Why is this happening to you? And then share that with your partner. You don't have to write every little detail down, but just tell them, okay, well, I've noticed when we're at a friend's house, so-and-so's house, I feel the jealousy happening there. I feel like you interact with that person more than you interact with me. Or when we're in a group setting, you're sort of the life of the party. And I sort of feel like I'm kind of behind you. Find out what it is because sometimes that's what it is. Just some one person's maybe a little bit more gregarious than the other. One person has more friends. One person has maybe their life is going a little bit better than their partner's life. But talk about it. It's okay because your turn will come. Well, that will be this similar thing and they may feel insecure about it. But if you're always on top of the conversation, then you know where each other's thoughts are. What's their mindset? What's happening right now? What can I do to take away some of this situation that they're feeling? How can I better this situation? I find in my coaching experience with people that a lot of jealousy comes from one person evolving at a little bit of a faster rate in their life. And the other person is not just not feeling at, at par with them. They feel sort of, as I said earlier, left behind. And this is really important when you're in a relationship that you, you sit down and you talk to your partner about what's going on in your life, but also don't forget, yours is going great. You're manifesting things that you want and your partner's feeling, ah, uh, it's not quite the same for me. Encourage them, offer them support because you always want to be uh, appreciative of of your partner's success, but you also don't want to feel like you're not a part of their success. Listening to your partner, understanding their concerns is the best support that you can give each other in your relationship. So please don't look at it that and dismiss it like, oh, they're just being silly about this. Hear their concerns, listen to what they're saying, what triggers all this stuff, and please help them to understand that you're in a good place with them. If you're not in a good place with them, you need to be honest about that too. That's something that a lot of people, when they feel a jealousy, they feel an instinct happen. They feel something's going on. So if you are feeling unhappy within your relationship and you are doing things that trigger your partner's jealousy, you need to come clean. You need to figure out whether this is a situation that you can fix 
or if it's something that's changed in the foundation of your partnership. Please don't ever let somebody keep hanging in, in the relationship and what's going on. Thanks so much for listening to Dear Cyber City Today. Please subscribe and please like the video and leave any comments below. Thanks so much everyone. Bye-bye.